Hello, welcome to Little Spirit Productions. We have a few packages to ow, open. Just yes, sure. down. Yes, you do have a bark box to open, but not yet. He's excited. Well, we do have four packages, like I said. This first one is from Paperback Swap, which we used to be really big in posting books that we wanted to trade and uh, requesting books that we were wishlisting and getting books mailed to us a lot. But since we don't have all those books to send to anybody anymore, we don't do paperback swap very often anymore. But this one has been on our wish list for Jester Get Down for a couple of years now. It's actually a set of three books. And they pack, Jester, get down, 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 down. They package it pretty well. They bubble wrapped it, which I appreciate. Now, if only I can get into it. <laughs> Carefully cut it open. As you can see, or here at least, we are in our storage unit today, unboxing and working on our storage. So this is the Infernal Devices, a complete collection by Cassandra Clare, and it includes the books Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. So you can see that there. And this is a three book box set. Still wrapped? Yeah, it's still in the box. Wow. It's not wrapped, it's just in the gift oh, box. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See? And important info or inf information for the receiver. This book was mailed to you by, and I don't want to say her name. Uh, then you have to go on paperbookswap com and report that you received the book or books in this case and usually uh, there's an option to include the date it was shipped how much the shipping was and of course the condition of the books which these are pretty good the box is a little bit worn but I'm not complaining at all the books look like they're pretty in pretty good shape and then uh, you can also include a message to the person that sent the books to you. And this set of three books actually only cost us one credit, as far as I can tell. Usually, you know, box sets would, I thought, cost more, but apparently not. So that's our first package. And this one says... To say it, she sent it media mail on November 11th, and I can't remember what date we actually received it. Actually, no, this was just delivered yesterday on November 25th. Yeah, so it takes a couple weeks for media mail, it is one of the slower uh, shipping methods for USBS. And the second package is also a book. But this is a special book. Oh, they bubble wrapped it too. One of the authors that we both have loved for a very long time is Terry Brooks. Well, he just came out with this brand new book recently. Daughter of Darkness and to Dreadle and Mooney, <laughs> he signed it. Isn't that cool? I think I got that in there. Yeah. But we have several of his books that he has signed. And how many did we get signed in 19? Three or, three or four. Three or four books. When we met Terry Brooks, I met him for the first time. David met him for a second time at a uh, book signing. And he was introducing one of his new books. Um, Street Freaks. Yeah, Street Freaks. And it was at a library here, I think it was in Independence, uh, Missouri? No. No? No. Um, 
further north, but I can't remember where. Somewhere yeah. in the Kansas City metro area. Yeah. A couple of years ago. Actually, it was probably three or four years ago now. But uh, we almost missed that book signing. But we did end up getting there and just had to make it work. But here is another book, Terry Brooks' book, to add to our collection. Signed by the author, which we love. That one right there. Uh, let's put that back in the box. He's out of the way. Mm. Our third package is my last order from Archer's Arts. Unfortunately for all their loyal fans and customers, they closed their online shop at the end of April 2022. And this was the last order I had placed on April 27th. Hey, Jester. I'm selling. Jester. Jester. Hush. There's somebody that's down at the other end of the hallway here. Oh. Get everything out of here. You can box it away. Jester, hush. You echo in here. No. No, no, no. I think, Jester! I think that's everything in the box. Okay. I'm going to open this big one right here first. I have unboxed a couple of these before. Jester, fell down. This is a crown box. Diamond painting, work in progress kit. Okay. <laughs> I think something happened to it. It's not. <coughs> yeah. It kind of shifted during shipping. David. Yeah. David. Trying to get them all lined back up. There we go. <laughs> I thought on the other boxes I had that the shelf right here was like sealed, glued in, whatever. Wasn't going to be coming out, but I guess not because this one was coming out. <coughs> so this is a storage solution a uh, way to store your diamond drills especially while you're working on a diamond painting and it's got these cute little crown containers there's 40 of them in each box this is actually my third crown box and of course it's got my favorite colors this is uh galactic blue i believe and then the gold on top and then all the crowns inside and one more little detail this right here is a funnel where on our, the original crown boxes, that was the crown sharpener. But there's a little 3D printed funnel to pour your drills into each of the crowns. So that's not cute. Really like that. And it says crown down here on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. So that's my third crown box. And then the rest of these, I ordered a bunch of different um, cover minders. Different colors. Okay. <laughs> So these are the Christmas trees. 
different colors. The I think it's galactic blue, voodoo, and gold. And each of my cover minders that I purchased, I uh, did the same colors for each one. The same three colors. This next one is little fishies. Show those. Cute little fish. And what it's got, it's a separate piece right here. It's a magnet. And you put this piece under your diamond painting, and then this piece over your diamond painting to hold down the cover sheet that's over your diamond painting. So it stays out of your way. And then the Voodoo and the Galactic Blue again. And I love these little garganza bags that Archer's Arts was using. I don't know if they print those too. All this is 3D printed. Let's see. Watch these up. I ordered a bunch of these. This is a long time ago, of course. There we go. So we've got little people in gold voodoo and galactic blue. Oops. And the backs of their heads is the back of the cover minder. And then we got little wine glasses. <clears throat> and hearts. And I got this one because of David. Little footballs. Mm. He likes football. So there's those. This next one is a little cute, cutesy. A little pile of leavings. <laughs> and it's got a face on it. Isn't that cute? Last two, which I had ordered two of these previously in different colors. I have a purple one and a voodoo one already. So I got the gold and the galactic blue. It's a little ball of yarn with a couple of knitting needles sticking out of it. And of course, just like the rest, it's a cover minder. So I got a bunch of cover minders. Different styles, different sizes, different shapes. And they they got a little magnetic base, right? Yep. Each one of them has a separate magnetic base. You put this under your diamond painting. Uh -huh. And then you put this over the diamond painting, over the cover sheet. That's usually covering up the sticky part. But right. when you're working on it, you yeah. pull back the sticky part. And then you put this on it to hold it back out of your way. <laughs> So that is all from Archer's Arts. And we got one more package yeah. that Mr. Loudmouth over here is going to get to open. You ready to open your bark box? Show everybody your antics and your goofiness? Yeah? You ready? It's Jester's turn. You going to talk to me? Now you can talk. Now you don't want to.
Oh, here we got Jester eyeing Daddy with his bark box. Hey, hush. He just knocked it out of his hands. Dog. He is excited. This for doggy. Yeah, this is for doggy. Hush. Okay, that's enough. There he goes. He's pretty much figured out how to open these things. Are you having a little bit of trouble this time? I almost got it. There it is. Yep. <laughs> Daddy, daddy. Open, 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 open. <laughs> hey, goofy dog. <laughs> yeah. Daddy, yeah, even know this. <laughs> okay, Sam. You got it. Uh, uh, uh. Earned that one, Daddy. Hush, 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 hush. Oi. What was that one? Chicken stick recipe. Okay. David gave him one of the sticks already. <laughs> you gonna put the other one on his pillow? Uh oh, where'd daddy go? Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Put your head up. There we go. Okay. Let's see what else is in this box. <laughs> That's destroyed box. <laughs> okay. Give them thanks, gravy. Does it say? And butter. Okay. Famous tug sauce. <laughs> Tough nylon binding. Reinforced nylon strap. Great to toss, thrash, and tug. Unless you have butter fingers. <laughs> uh, rubber lined twill. Rubber core. Ooh. Squeaky? It's his favorite. It's a squeaky? Uh-huh. If you can make it squeak. Jesus. Squeaker. You gotta have jaw power like Jester has. Careful, dog. Yeah, might as well give it to him. Okay, we can't get him. Let me move the chair. There we go. This is a donate toy. It's a nylon. Okay. Crunchy potato fry. <laughs> okay. Sweet potato. Yeah. Nylon. Chewing can get rough. Sand down the soil if you start to see sharp edges. This washer is safe. Nile friendly. Call job. Easy for your dog to grip, grab, and chew. A good toy, dog yammock. <laughs> <laughs> Marshmallow scent. Okay. Marshmallow. That's a weird one. <laughs> You know that's a squeaky toy, right, Jester? It's supposed to be. But uh, sweet potatoes is a yam. Yeah. Um, this fella keeps knocking the water bowl. <laughs> Another thing. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> he hit the table with it. Chicken stick recipe. Okay. Jerky bars chicken recipe. Crunchy biscuits chicken recipe. And one more toy. Turkey Barker. <laughs> okay. It's a burger. It's a turkey burger. <laughs> That's cute. Natural rubber core, plush layer. 100% unpardoned turkey. <laughs> Two layers of play. Yep. The fabric 
rips uh -huh. off and it's got a rubber toy in the middle. And it says it's a squeaker again. Okay. Turkey burger scent. <laughs> Less cholesterol than traditional rubber burgers. Oh my god. <laughs> This toy he's playing with right now is a dangerous one. Is it a squeaky? It says it's a squeaky. I think I heard it. Okay. You want that one? You want your squeaky burger? Hey, hush, 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 hush. hush. Hey. <laughs> he told you. Got it. Good boy. <laughs> yep, you got it this week. Yeah. Squeak, squeak. Giving thanks. <laughs> Crunchy potato fry. Welcome to the Given Thanks home of the gobbler. Your pup's order's up, and it's time to chow down in America's number one fast food chain dedicated to America's number one meal, Thanksgiving. And while the food might be fast, these tough toys are built to last. Long after the leftovers are gone, so get ready for their supersized cornucopia of Thanksgiving goodness. And no need to thank us at Given Thanks, the gratitude's complimentary. Happiness guarantee. Mm -hmm. Talking about the tricky Parker. Yeah, this dual layer, dual, dual layer delight. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's the one Jester's chewing on right now. Mm -hmm. and this one still also says there's a squeaker here. Yeah, it is, but he hasn't. Maybe it's down here. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll have to look at that. Oh, that one's in a wheelchair. Mm, yeah, I didn't notice that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you cut that out, and it's like a It's like a hat. A, hat. <laughs> a tricky hat. <laughs> I don't think we can get just away that. Nope. And while we were recording this video, we just received notification that we have another package at storage, or at the mailbox at storage. We are at storage, at the mailbox. So we'll go run and get that and then come back and unbox that one and put that in this video too. I don't know which one it is. I haven't been able to verify the tracking number yet. Well, here is our final package that we received while recording this video. So we're going to open this one. We didn't want just to open it because of what's inside. Mm -hmm. And this is a good size box that we can reuse later. So we didn't want him destroying it like he usually does the normal bark boxes. Yeah. And let's sniff butts. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's cute. Bark box definitely has a sense of humor. Unfortunately, we got this package when we did because there was a mix-up for the month of November. And that's also why Jester only got three uh, toys and two bags of treats and two chew sticks this month. You they got... had a problem with billing for the add-ons, which includes the Double Deluxe, which we did not get this month. Yep. And a bunch of other things that we ordered. Okay, so this is usually in his monthly bark box, the Secret Monster Club. So let's go ahead and open this one and see what he got this month, if I can. It's taped? No, it's not taped. It's just, I can't oh. open it. It's one of those flap things. Uh-huh. Okay. 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 It's a weird looking monster. It's a gobbler. <laughs> and his name is Crubs. C R U B S. There's the tag. <laughs> Spooky, sneaky, sometimes squeaky. Fetch and treats, plush covering, natural rubber core, which he would love. 
spot clean only, not dishwasher safe, BPA free, which all their toys uh, that I can remember are BPA free. Yeah, if they're rubber, they're BPA. Okay, they're BPA free. Mm -hmm. Okay, two layers of play. Of course, you once you choose off this fabric covering, there's another toy inside. Squeaker, face only mother could love, and vanilla scent made with non-allergenic oils for those that have uh, dogs are allergic to certain things. I know if at least one is like that. Sharon's little dog is allergic to st some stuff. I'm not sure what. Okay. Right in the middle. That's an easy squeak. Yeah. I'll feel it. Okay. It's like a ring or something. Uh -huh. In the middle of it is the squeaker. <laughs> He's going to love that one. We've got to take that one back to the truck. Yeah. And this is the other thing that we received in this package. Jester got another advent calendar. We did this last year, and we did a video every day for the 25 days of Christmas, which we plan on doing that again this year. And he really loved the treats and everything. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I think last year they had little sayings on the cards or something. Yeah. So we'll be doing a video every day starting December 1st. I'll try to get them out the same day if yeah. I can. 25 days of treats made in USA. Baked dog treats. Elf advent calendar. Mm. So that's what the front of the box looks like. If I can get it all on the screen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. And in the back it says, Wholesome grains, three adorable shapes. Don't be a cotton-headed ninny muggins. Give your dog 25 days worth of treats to prepare them for the most important holiday of the year, Christmas. With a tasty surprise behind every door, your your dog will spread Christmas cheer by singing loud to, for all to hear. He sure will. He'll be whining for his treats. He loves getting treats. He's a very treat-motivated dog. Oh, yeah. We treat your pup right, happiness guaranteed. Our pack has your back. If your dog doesn't love something, reach out to our, our happy team and we'll make it right for your pup. And then they have their contact, uh, BarkBox.com slash contact. Their email is happy at BarkBox.com and they have a, a phone number you can text. 1-855-520-BARK, which is 2275. Um, let's see, there's Gingerbread Man and Wreath and Snowballs are the three shapes. Mm. Okay. And that is the back of the box. So, one of the things that we had problems with on this month is the billing, like I was saying. And supposedly they tried billing on the 3rd of this month, which was the day before payday. And then they tried billing again on the 4th, which the money was in the bank. But for whatever reason, they're saying that our bank declined. Well, there was no reason for our bank to, to decline because the money was in there. So I went back and forth on emails and live chat with BarkBox to try to get them to fix it and get us our add-ons that we ordered. There was several other things that we ordered at the same time as the advent calendar. And, of course, the Double Deluxe, which we missed, missed out on for this month. And then the Secret Monster Club, which they included with the advent calendar. The rest of the stuff that we had ordered that was supposed to come in November box will be in the December box, which unfortunately we don't plan on being home again until around mid-January, so Jester won't get that stuff until then. But then he'll maybe have two bark boxes to open for you guys. Depending, we might have three. No, two. No, two. December and January. Yeah. It's the third weekend, third Sunday basically of January that we're trying to get home for. Mm-hmm. But we do, we did get the advent calendar in time, which I'm very happy for because we're going back out on the road tomorrow. And we wanted to do those for December. Yeah, December, not January, February, like yeah. we thought might have happen. Yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Share, share out the video with your friends. Leave us a comment. Let us know what your favorite part of our Happy Meal was this time. Uh, if you enjoyed watching Jester open his bark box and play with his toys. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe and bell icon so you'll get notifications when we upload new content, which will be at least one new video every week. 
thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.